Hello and welcome to today's speedboat. If you're new here, then thank you so much for joining us. And if not, then welcome back. So today I am so excited to bring you guys this video because this build has taken me a very, very long time to do. I think I was doing this over the course of like two to three days. So I have just been building <laughs> and trying to improve it and just... Yeah, I've just been really set in this build and I've not really been doing many other projects alongside it because I was just so invested. So I'm so excited to finally get this out to you guys and hopefully you do like it. But we are building in the world of Windenburg and right now we are building on a 64 by 64 lot. So we started off with this build or with this lot even because I wanted there to be enough space for me to sort of work out what I wanted to do with this build and then I end up moving it to a smaller lot a little bit later on. I end up moving it to a 30 by 40 lot I believe or a 40 by 30 um, and you'll kind of see <laughs> why I do it but as you can see, I'm starting off with this little building right here and this ends up being a bar which I really like the bar is one of my favorite places I built I think and right next to this I end up putting a cafe and then across from it I end up putting some little um little like shops so originally when I was building this I actually built it more like a little street so directly across is like the shops and then it's just kind of it's very very narrow and when you see me build it, I do actually think it looks super, super nice this way. Um, you can let me know what you think. But the reason I end up changing it to a sort of square instead is because one, in terms of gameplay, it is just much easier. And two, I feel like it, it looks a little bit nicer. I don't know, like... I really like it being a street. I think it it looks nice. It was giving me very like Harry Potter vibes. Um, it was giving like Diagon Alley. But I was also a little bit like, eh, I kind of want, you know, like there to be a little bit more space because the thing with the Sims is Sims have a lot of trouble with um, like pathing so you know it, it, they can't move around really small areas and then they can't use everything and then it gets really difficult and also when you're in really small spaces sometimes it's hard to kind of see your sims because I don't know about anyone else but my camera like pops up so many times it does it actually while I'm doing this build it just keeps like popping up like if if the camera is like above something that's higher than where you want to be it will like just the camera will keep popping up and it's really super annoying so I was like I'm gonna make it a little bit more open into like a sort of square and yeah I think this this looks a lot better but you'll see me sort of do that later I pretty much built it and then I saved all the little areas separately and then placed them onto one lot which I don't recommend doing because it was a lot of effort, I'm not going to lie, it was <laughs> really annoying to do, but that is what i done for this build, um, so you'll see me do that a little bit later on. But yeah, getting into the actual lots that end up being here, because i done quite a lot of stuff and I'm really excited to get into it. So, as I said, right there where I was building, that ends up being the bar, and right next to the bar I end up putting this little sort of stage area. So the idea is that little area is like the outside bit and it is for like performers um, and then like people can sit and they can eat their dinner while they watch, you know, the, the performer. <laughs> and then next to that I decided to put a cafe because I I wanted to have like some different vibes going on so although there's a bar there is also a cafe and then across from them too I put in some little shops so we end up having a charity shop or a thrift store and also a little music shop and then this little building at the back that you can see me kind of working on right now ends up being a library um, and then I just add a few different like extra little things so I add two little stalls one of them is for furniture and one of them is for fruit and veg and then I also created this cute little 
like secret area <laughs> and this ends up being for the spellcasters so the spellcaster area ends up being like sort of hidden around the back which you, you will see me do it and I really really like that area because I wanted it to be very out of the way so that it's kind of you know it's kind of hidden I feel like maybe the companies that work here like you know the people that own the bar in the shops and stuff maybe they don't even know it's there like that's what I was kind of thinking so you will see me do that a little bit later on and I think the last thing I add is you can see I'm doing like the little shops right now well right above there you can see there's like a second floor and originally I did think maybe I could just make it go over two floors you know like have a little upstairs to the shop but instead I decided to put little apartments up there so yeah I <laughs> they're so cute they're like two little tiny apartments and you can access them from the back I end up putting some little stairwells and you can access them there so yeah hopefully um <laughs> hopefully that's something you're kind of interested in seeing I didn't show me doing like the full apartment because I did think that would probably be a little bit too much but they are just little tiny apartments so like there's not much to them I just tried to make them very very simple um but yeah here in the UK we actually have little towns like these and they're called like Tudor home at uh, Tudor towns even <laughs> um I don't think I say it properly but I just feel like I've got like a weird accent and I just <laughs> say things weird but we do actually have them here in the UK and they're very very nice and like most towns in the UK when we have these little areas with shops there is usually like little homes and little apartments above them um that's just how it is here I don't know if it's like that in America you can let me know um or in any other place in the world I just know most of my audience is American I always get like comments about you know American stuff but you know let me know if it's like this in in other countries as well but yeah it's kind of like we have shops and then above them we have like homes if that makes sense it's actually really convenient because if you live in the house above you can just go down to the shops and it's like really really convenient <laughs> so yeah I decided to do that and I thought it was pretty realistic so yeah um but here I this is where I end up building the stall so you can see I've kind of like created this outgoing area and that ends up being three stalls now in the end result I only keep two of the stalls but it's just because three was a little bit too much and also I felt like there wasn't a need for that many because there's already so many lots going on like there's so many things happening so I just thought it'd be a little bit easier if we just do the two and then it's kind of you know <laughs> I don't know then there's not like so much going on that you're like oh I don't know where to go <laughs> but um yeah you can kind of see the little layout right now now when it changes and it turns into a square just so you know because it's a little bit of a drastic change everything is the exact same like I do not change anything it's all the exact same I literally just pull it apart so the shops are just further away from like the bar and the cafe area that's pretty much all I do and then I just move the stalls to go next to the library that's pretty much all I do um I know it's a little bit like <laughs> you you'll see it change and you'll be like oh what happened but like that is literally it <laughs> <laughs> um but yeah so here I'm doing the stalls right now and I did cut out just most footage of me doing that last one because I don't I don't really keep much from it I just yeah I don't keep anything from it actually <laughs> I just keep the two that I'm doing right now um now something I really struggled with with this build was roofing because all of the buildings are such different sizes and shapes it was really difficult for me to kind of do the roofing I felt like it was just super difficult and I was like I need them to look connected but I also didn't want them all to be like the one roof I wanted it to look very different um but the idea of this place is kind of like an old town um that is still used that's what I was thinking so here as I said I am building on a 64 by 64 but I do end up moving to the 40 by 30 which ends up being the lot which I believe is right next to this one 
and it's sort of in the middle of nowhere like there's not too much going on around it but the reason I did that is because originally I was actually going to place this in the kind of town centre of Windenburg you know where the pool is because that's also a 40 by 30 I was going to put it there but if you've ever seen that area in Windenburg you would know that it's very modern looking like it looks very very modern and when I did place this lot there to me it looked like it was sort of placed there it looked like it was built there whereas I wanted this to look like it was an old town that kind of hasn't really been touched and it's still used you know I didn't want it to look like a town that has been kind of like redone and then placed if that makes sense <laughs> hopefully it does but that is why I didn't place it there so that's why it's kind of like here we have moved lot now <laughs> kind of like in the middle of nowhere but yeah <laughs> so you can see that I have like pulled it apart and you can probably notice that like not much has changed at all I am just adding this little area to the back so this ends up being the little secret wizard area for the spellcasters and I love it it's just a tiny small little shop but I feel like it just really adds something to the build because it's just like a little secret extra little thing now I keep calling this a town square when you look at it I feel like you know it's not really square <laughs> shaped but you know the shops kind of all surround and go around the way and you know it, it's kind of it's supposed to be like a square I end up putting a little feature in the middle with a I believe it's a fountain and then just like a few trees um sorry if you just heard my chair it's very squeaky <laughs> but um yeah so I do end up adding a little feature in the middle and then yeah we're just doing up all of these now I do do the insides of everything and because I feel like there's so much going on I did decide to kind of try and segment this video into like different segments so there should be like different sort of time stamps for different areas so like when I do the bar the cafe and the shops and stuff I just thought it would be a little bit easier to watch because sometimes you don't have time to watch a full video maybe you want to go back to it or sometimes like maybe you just want to see certain parts of a video so I thought it would be nice to kind of separate it just so that you could see it properly and um you can just go to the parts that you want to see um but yeah if you have noticed that then yeah that is something that I've done I don't usually do it but for a build like this I just felt like there was so much going on that it made a lot of sense <laughs> but here you can see I was just going ham with the with the little wizard area I also added these little crystals on the roof which I thought was so cute and I'm just like doing this place up as much as I can now you can see I'm kind of decorating the back area and I do sort of decorate it just so it's a bit I don't know like a bit more going on because I felt like it looked very very flat compared to the front um it's just because of the way that I built it like I'm not too bothered about it looking too flat but when I do the apartments you'll see that I add these um like stairways to the back and that kind of helps with the shape and makes it look a little bit less blocky <laughs> but yeah um so here I'm doing the little centerpiece and I really like this area. So this is for like the people that don't want to come into the shops and they just want to chill outside. I don't know if anyone else was like that. When I was younger, I absolutely hated shopping. Now I, I really like shopping. Like it's so fun. And I, But when you're a kid, you don't really want to go into clothes shops. I feel like when you're a kid, you don't really get excited about like clothes the way you do when you're an adult it's kind of like you know when you get to that certain age where you're like excited about like cleaning supplies <laughs> it's kind of like that it's like when I was a kid that would not interest me but see now I'm like god this is this is some good cleaning <laughs> like it's kind of like that so this is for all the people that don't really want to go into the shop and you know maybe their wife or their kids or whatever they want to go in so they just wait outside so <laughs> there's lots of benches and little areas to just sit outside and I also added a little bike rack just because I thought it was super cute and we recently got bikes we've grown together and so I thought it was nice to kind of have them included um because obviously they're actually rideable so <laughs> it's it's quite good but here I'm moving on to the first indoor area so this ends up being the little music store now in terms of functionability 
<laughs> this lot is on the gallery and I think I put it on the gallery either as a retail area or as a cafe. I'm not sure what one I put on is. It will be whatever one worked the best, <laughs> like whatever one I thought made more sense. So if it is a retail lot, obviously you will actually be able to buy all of this stuff. But when I play tested it, I had it as a cafe lot. And The Sims actually still came in here a lot because there's so much like um, music and instruments and things going on. The Sims would just come in here and like play the piano, play the guitar and just like chill out and just <laughs> use all the stuff. So in case you think that these places are super empty, they're actually not like they are used quite a bit by The Sims. So yeah nothing to worry about there same with the shops next door like they do actually go in them i was really surprised because i thought they're probably not going to go in there because there's not much to do but no they they actually do use them so <laughs> i was really surprised about that but um yeah when i when i play tested this build i was just like so sad because I would love if we could make this like a multifunctional lot. Like that would be so good. I feel like that's definitely something that the Sims team just needs to add. I've been saying this for so long, but I would love it if they added townhouses to the Sims. I feel like it would just be so good and you could do very similar stuff where you could have like the shops underneath and then also like the apartments above I feel like that would be so good like if this was functional and you could live here I mean technically you can live here but it just doesn't work the same you know it's like it's not technically your house and I don't know it's just it's weird I feel like if we had townhouses in the sims I would just be so happy like I imagine they would work very similar to apartments so like with apartments you have sort of your apartment and then you can't see into the neighbors I feel like that would be really good to have for the townhouses so it's like you know you live maybe above a neighbor but then you don't see like you can't see your neighbor like would that not be really cool I don't know I feel like I would really like that and I feel like I've seen a lot of people say that they would love for that to be a real thing but um yeah I don't know it's just I don't even know what the sims are capable of like I don't know if that's something that they could do but like I feel like they must if they can have apartments then I feel like they could definitely have townhouses <laughs> but anyway we've moved on to this shop and this is supposed to be like a charity shop or a thrift store which I believe is the same thing if you don't know what I'm talking about here in Britain we have charity shops and the way they work is I think it's the same premise but it's pretty much just you donate stuff like clothes and games and bags and just whatever you can donate whatever you like to charity shops and then they're sold like really cheap because it's you know for maybe people that can't afford it or also for people that just you know want to get stuff a little bit cheaper that is what these shops are for so yeah I think it's the exact same premise as a thrift store like obviously you can let me know if, if they're different but I feel like it's the exact same thing but personally I actually really like charity shops and I usually donate like clothes that I throw away like recently I was clearing out my drawers and I donated a lot of clothes because it's just clothes I don't use anymore but like clothes that you know there's nothing wrong with it I just maybe they don't fit me or I don't like them <laughs> things like that so I actually really like charity shops so I was just basing this off of any that I've actually been into in real life and I really like it now I did put little changing rooms into here which um is a little bit less common but some of them do have these and I thought that was really cute and you can like have your sims go in there and try on stuff I believe that I did end up adding little like dressers in there so your sims actually can go in and change clothes um I thought that was really nice but the only thing thrown off this little shop is the wallpaper and I do end up changing it to this really nice kind of like maroon and then I make some of the walls black as well so it's super cute you'll see it but um yeah I was just trying to think what would a place like this sell and I end up filling it with like bags and clothes and then I added these signs because <laughs> 
I was looking for these signs like the whole build and I could not find them and then I found them when I was furnishing that little shop and I was like perfect I'm I'm just gonna do it now because otherwise I definitely would have just forgotten where they were so I was like better just do it now <laughs> but yeah now I did play test this and it should be on the gallery um I think on the gallery it's just called tiny tudor town um so it should be down as that and it is play tested everything works absolutely fine um now for all of the separate lots i did go by their requirements so the two little retail shops have everything a retail shop should have and then the library has everything so the library's got like computers and stuff for your sims that's actually something that makes people go in the library so much um there's computers in it so the sims just like go in there sometimes and you know play games <laughs> but it's really nice um like it's good because i was scared that they maybe wouldn't use the library um you know as much as all of the other stuff we have but no they do use it so it's really good speaking of which this is the library right now and i have talked about this a lot but we of course got the new book nook kit and i've said this multiple times but it's my favorite kit that they have ever brought out so i made sure to use a lot of the book nook kit inside of here and i love it i feel like the inside just feels so so cozy and yeah i tried to just put like so many different sections in here and it just I love it I think it looks so good but yeah the book nook kit definitely up there with my favorite kits I absolutely love the two little sofas that we got I love the decor that we got just I feel like it's just so good and it's probably like the coziest kit we've ever gotten like I've said this before but I was a little bit skeptical about some of the other ones we got like the greenhouse kit and the basement treasures I was like yeah you know like they're okay but this one I was on board with this one I I just loved it. and the thing is I like I used to read books a lot when I was younger but I'm not like massively into books but I just I just love this build <laughs> like this this kit even I just love it now right here I am building a little area for your toddlers and infants so the idea is that they would sit there with their parent and they would have their books read to them I thought that was a super cute idea so that's just right as you walk in which I was a little bit like hmm, would it be kind of noisy but like it's still a library um the little area at the bottom is obviously where you would kind of buy your books from and get them stamped or like not even buy but like borrow your books from and get them stamped so I thought it'd be nice plus infants and toddlers can't really go up and down stairs so I thought it made more sense to have them down there but here we we're doing the top area and this is a little area that I knew what I wanted to do with it but I wasn't really sure how it would work so you know how libraries have those little corridors and like you can walk down all of the separate like aisles and then there's like separate stuff in each of them that's what i was going for here so there's like different aisles that your sims can walk through and then there's like a little seating area that i think there's two seating areas and then i also put the um computers down there and then also oh, i believe i add something else I think I might add something else, but I know there's computers and some seating areas. And then over here right now, this is supposed to be a little like kind of donations area. So, so more like books that people have brought in and maybe they've not used them as much anymore. Or maybe they've just got a good use out of it and they want to give some other people a good use out of it. So this is meant to be books that people have brought in and then they've placed them here and they're kind of sold a little bit cheaper um because libraries you usually just like borrow books but these ones i feel like they aren't actually owned by the library they're just ones that people have brought in so people can just like buy them but maybe they're like you know super cheap like maybe like 50p a book <laughs> things like that um i just thought that was really nice so it's just this little area here i thought it was super cute i feel like maybe they also do like book signings here maybe they rearrange it and they do like some book signings and that would be a really cute idea I don't know I was just when I do builds I get like really really emerged in them and I'm like oh what about this and this and then there's just so much and I feel like I don't even get to say it all because obviously you're watching this super super sped up like this is sped up a lot so when you're watching it it's like there's just there's so much going on I don't get to see absolutely everything but 
yeah I don't know I just I was really really a fan <laughs> of this little this little area now originally I was gonna have like the bookshelves back to back but it just it wasn't working so I was like this is a perfect place for me to put the for me to put the computers and as I was saying the sims do come up here they use them a lot so don't worry <laughs> in case you think that like this place isn't used it definitely is and it's fully functional which I was super surprised about I don't even know why I'm surprised I think I just kind of assume like there's going to be a bunch of functionality problems when I build but I do usually try and keep into consideration that they need at least half a tile to get past that's why that's why some of the areas and I say this a lot in my builds but a lot of the areas I do I try not to clutter them up too much even though I really want to I know that it will be super annoying for your sims so I try and have it like a little bit more open that's why the middle area is so open and that's why I turned it into a square instead of like originally what it was um but yeah <laughs> anyway so here we are doing the cafe and personally I love the cafe I think this is like maybe my favorite I don't know I don't want to say it's my favorite in case it's not but I feel like it is I really like the wizard area really really like it but the cafe just feels super cozy and I like the way I did it and I just I don't know I just enjoyed doing it so outside the cafe I put this like big massive bear statue thing and it's like supposed to be the kind of mascot for the cafe I thought that would be really nice so yeah <laughs> now right now when I'm doing the inside you can see that I've used these chairs and tables these are actually the chairs and tables I use at the bar so I end up changing these because I realized I used the wrong ones so I put them in the exact same place I just changed them out um you know how like on the outside we have like those lighter toned that's the ones I use in the cafe but um yeah these ones just look a lot better in the bar I feel like because the bar is a much darker vibe um but yeah here I'm just decorating a little sign uh, right as you walk in just so that you know that you're walking into a cafe <laughs> um but yeah the sims when i play tested spent a lot of time in here like this was one of the main places and something uh that i really really liked is when i built this place there is of course an upstairs that i'm doing right now and there's bathrooms up here and there's an office but your sims do not tend to come up here unless they need the bathroom because i purposely did not put anything into the like into the office area that they would go to like I didn't put a computer or anything because I knew that they would go in there and they would be really annoying and they would just stay upstairs so I just put in bathrooms so if your sims need the toilet they can go up here um but that's really it like I wasn't trying to decorate this bit too much because I wanted the attention to be downstairs I wanted it to just be like the cafe but I'm really upset because I started building this little office area and it ends up being so cute but my camera cut out like like the footage cut out just as I was doing it um and I didn't realize until I was finished um but it cut out because it pretty much ran out of storage and it was really really annoying but yeah as you can see <laughs> I decorated it I love the way it looks I feel like it's such a cozy little office but yeah the sims do not tend to go up there because there's literally nothing of interest um yeah they only come up really for the bathrooms and I do end up adding a little bit more in here I think when I do the upstairs of the bar I was like oh the upstairs of the cafe looks a little bit better I'm gonna add a few more stuff so yeah but there's still not too much you know it's just like little decoration pieces I add but I really like the downstairs I was gonna add like some rugs down here but I actually thought it looked a little bit better without so yeah I just left that um but here is the bar now in terms of size I think the bar is smaller but there's more space because I put stuff upstairs at the bar whereas I didn't really put anything upstairs at cafe so this bar has obviously got the bar that would be a really good start <laughs> and then upstairs we've got like some little games for them so there's a foosball table and I want to say table tennis I think that's what it is um and then I put a little darts board downstairs so yeah this place is definitely a much different vibe I feel like bars and cafes just are though um 
like cafes are definitely more like chill daytime vibes and then like bars are more like nighttime kind of <laughs> beer well yeah they are completely different because like bars is like alcohol you know and then like cafes are like coffee usually um <laughs> but yeah so this is the bar and i really like it i feel like it is super small but i actually i don't know i just like the way it looks i feel like it it works even though there's not loads and loads of space it just looks nice and I went for this kind of red and black interior which I wasn't actually going for at first but then I was like I kind of like that so I definitely leaned into it a little bit more and I started to really really like how it looked so yeah that's what we've got going on here um now there is also bathrooms up here in this build as well like in this <laughs> pub um pub bar like oh, sorry my brain <laughs> <laughs> isn't working pub and bar i feel like they're the same thing but anyway um there is also what are they called toilets in here because i didn't want your sims to have to go all the way down the stairs and then go across to the cafe just to use the bathroom so yeah there is toilets in here now there is one more place that has toilets but it's the apartments up the stairs so you can use those bathrooms but your sims might go up there and like make foods because there's little kitchens when i play tested it they didn't they honestly did not bother but i think if like you got your sim to go up there they'd probably be like oh there's a kitchen i'm just gonna cook something so <laughs> i don't know um that's what my sims tend to do whenever i try and play with them they they do everything i tell them not to do so you know if i'm like Okay, don't go behind the bar and make yourself a drink. They'll go behind the bar and make themselves a drink. So, yeah. Now, in terms of what this lot is. So, as I said, I was either going to upload it as a retail area or a cafe. Now, it's honestly dependent on what you want to be here. Now, you can hire people. So, if you want the bar to be functional, you can obviously hire a mixologist. Um, you can hire um what is it called you can hire vendors to do like the cafe so so you can have them function and then also have like the retail and stuff so it just depends exactly how you want to do it um i feel like that would probably be the, maybe the best way like if you had it retail and then you had like you hired a mixologist and a vendor that would probably work really really nicely but it's just really up to you because some of these places are obviously more for show and it's just to kind of look nice but um yeah i don't know <laughs> now keep in mind some rooms are not furnished for example the upstairs of the wizard area isn't furnished because i didn't want to use it and then the upstairs of the two stalls are not furnished because same reason again i didn't really want them to use it but um if you want to decorate them please feel free like as soon as you download this build you can add any changes you like like if you're like oh i kind of like this but i'm not really a fan of this like just change it like i will not be offended <laughs> i really will not um you know it's really to your preference to your gameplay however you want to play with it so you just do what you want to do but you can see that i'm doing the little apartments right now and i do not show these fully um just because i thought it'd be a little bit boring but i do show like some stuff so i'm showing me doing like i didn't show the bedrooms but i did show me doing like the living rooms and stuff because i oh my god right you know how we were talking about townhouses see if they added apartments and they were this small i would be so happy like this apartment to me is so so cute and it is uh, honestly to do with the sheer size of it it is tiny and it is so so cute i would absolutely love this like i don't know i just feel like the sims team needs to listen <laughs> we need smaller apartments and we need townhouses because i i need them i would be building non-stop i mean i build non-stop anyway but i would i would like I'd probably do what I'd done with San Sequoia <laughs> and every build was like in San Sequoia for like a month. I'm sorry about that guys. I was, I was a little bit too invested. Honestly, I still love San Sequoia so much. It's absolutely gorgeous. But yeah, I was like only building. <laughs> Maybe they shouldn't do it. You would get like no variety from me. <laughs> but anyway, um, 
Now, when it comes down to the stalls that I was talking about, I don't actually show me like doing the inside of the stalls because I've always a little bit boring but they are decorated on the inside just in case you're all wondering but this is me doing it the cute little um uh, spellcasters I was gonna say realm of magic shop spellcaster shop and this place is so so cute and something I really liked about this area is that the sims didn't actually go there like the like when I was playing with the sims they didn't really come around here which is exactly what I wanted. I wanted it to be kind of hidden. Except for one sim who came round, placed their infant in here, and then left. <laughs> that was the exception. But do you know what? It's the sims, so I wouldn't expect anything less. But yeah, this place is just decorated for spellcasters, and we've got some like advanced brooms, some starter brooms, and then some like normal average brooms i thought that was really cute and then i've got a little display area with all of the ones but we are actually coming to the end of this video so i do just want to say a massive thank you so so much for watching i really do appreciate it hopefully you did like this video if you did please make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already and if you want to follow me on any of my socials or you want to join my discord please be please feel free the links are in the description but thank you so much once again and i will see you guys in the next one